Okay, let's go ahead and create our Astro project. The first thing we need to do is create a directory to hold our project. So I'm going to create one called House Quest and going to go into that directory so that we can create our Astro project. And we do that with npm create and then Astro at latest. So we get the latest version of Astro. And at this point, we're going to follow the setup wizard. It's going to guide us through our options as we are setting up our Astro project. The first thing he wants to do is ask us where we are going to create our new project. In our case, we're already in the house quest directory. Up here, we CD'd into it. So we don't need to specify a directory. Instead, I'm going to use a period to indicate the current working directory. And do I want to include the sample files? They recommend that, I recommend that as well. It's a great way to kind of quickly bootstrap a new project. So we'll say yes by entering a return. And do we want to install dependencies? Of course we do. So it's going to install those with NPM. And now we have to decide, do we plan to write TypeScript? You should choose yes here. I think any new JavaScript projects that you work on should be using TypeScript. So we'll say yes. And what type of strictness do we want to use with TypeScript? Well, they recommend strict. You also have strictest or relaxed. And I'm going to stick with strict because uh, first it's recommended and second, I think it's going to be a good nudge to keep us honest about our typing in JavaScript. And do we want to initialize a new Git repository? This really depends. If you're just doing this project following along with me and you don't plan to create a repository from that project, then you don't. I just always say yes. It doesn't hurt since it's all just local. So at this point, we have uh, our project created and it is ready to go. So you can see it says run npm run dev to start the dev server, control C to stop. And of course we can add different frameworks using Astro add. And we'll get to that later in this course. So we now have a Git repository and we're on our master branch. So we're going to run npm run dev. Get that up and running on port 3000 at localhost. And we can go into VS Code and we'll just open our new project in VS Code. And there we go. Now we have our new project and go to localhost 3000. You should see the welcome to Astro page with some helpful links for getting started. So that's it. You've now successfully created your first Astro project. Next up, we're gonna look through the Astro project and explore the directories and the files and the different parts of the project.